Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge 360. In the previous video, we have seen what is identity column in PostgreSQL and how we can use the identity columns. So in this video, we will see about the generated columns in PostgreSQL tables. So generated columns in PostgreSQL are the special columns that are computed from other columns. There are two types of generated columns in PostgreSQL. One is stored and other one is virtual. In stored generated columns, the generated column is calculated when we write something, it can be insert or update and it occupies the storage just like any other column of a table and it can be compared with the materialized view. And in case of virtual generated columns, this is calculated when we read the data and it takes no storage and this is compared to a standard view. But as of now, this virtual generated column is not supported in PostgreSQL. So we'll see example of generated columns now. To create a generated column, we use the generated always as clause in the create tables. So here is an example of it. We are creating a table called people where height in centimeter is declared where user can pass the data but height in centimeter will be generated from the height in centimeter column value so as we can see here the syntax generated always as then the expression we can write expression here to generate the column and then stored so at the end stored must be mentioned because this is a stored generated column and virtual is not supported as of now so there are some key points that we need to remember related to generated column so in generated column it cannot be directly updated so in this case we cannot directly add or update any value in the height in inch column it will always be updated or modified or added through the base column that is height in centimeter we will shortly see the example as well and there is a difference between stored column and default column in case of stored column this can be calculated but in case of default it is not this is always created by default there is a difference between stored column and default column the stored column value is is auto update but the default columns are not so in case of uh, when we update any value in the height cm so automatically the height in inch column value will be updated we'll see the example as well okay so to see the example now let's create the table the table is created we insert the data into people table with only height cm column the record is inserted now let's check the data uh, we have inserted height in cm but height in inch is automatically calculated okay so now what we'll do we'll update the data as we saw that stored column data is auto update but the default values are not so let's see how we can do it so in this case if i update the height in cm so the height in inch will be automatically updated so let's perform this update operation the update is done now let's check the data okay so as we updated the height in centimeter so height in inch is also updated now there is other way also that if we want to mention the column or not it is optional obviously but we can mention it in the values parameter we need to provide the default so let's do it okay the record is inserted now we can check the data okay the record is inserted and we can see the value here okay now let's see the third option here we we as a user trying to provide the value into the height in inch column so this will not allow us to insert the data into table because this is always generated this cannot be done by user okay let's try and see this will definitely throw the error okay so it throws error that we cannot provide this value explicitly because this is a generated column so if the video was helpful do like the video and subscribe the channel to get the notifications for upcoming video in the next video we'll see about constraints in postgresql tables so let's meet in the next video with the topic of constraints in postgresql so till then take care bye bye